Yeah, what's going on guys? This is me, Arvid, back on another new video, and today's video will be basically another update on the mouse lag issue I was talking about, like in the previous month and stuff. So both of the videos got pretty much good, you know, audience responses and good reach, and the usual amount of views I get in my, in my YouTube channel, they actually passed 1,000 or 2,000 views. I don't know, I haven't checked on them in a while, but many of you guys actually did say that the second update didn't work as well. So after that, I started analyzing more and more, and then I did, I didn't exactly find a fix, but I did find some factors that actually affects it. So today, I will be talking about all those factors that, you know, affects this mouse lag and stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, I did decide to do a voiceover because I thought this will be more specific. And this video is not scripted in any way. So whatever I think I will say, and if I do stutter, please excuse my mistakes because, you know, sometimes it's just hard and I forget what I have to say. So anyways, with all those things being said, let's... Let's start the video and so first the first factor I found was the FPS value okay so this doesn't happen in games like this you know where the your character has the main focus for example in first person shooter games um, like that business phantom forces or arsenal what happens is that when you get to first person and if you have a lower FPS then what uh, for example let's say you have like a really low FPS 26 27 like less than 30 which is not playable in some cases you will see that you will face an input delay of around two seconds so if you so for example let's imagine that this is arsenal and then i'm just going to move to the left but my mouse will move you know a little later like this so you'll say so of course that will cause a delay but the more you after that frantically you know um, move your mouse the more the more increase will the delays get so let's say for example after that you just randomly move around your character and stuff and then it will cause a delay of like 5, 10, 15, sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes it even causes the delay of 15 seconds. And due to all that mouse delay, sometimes the keyboard lags on as well. For example, I'm pressing W, I'm pressing S right now, but your character moves like two or three seconds later and really in all some different sorts of um, frantic random movements. So those are the things I actually wanted to mention, that if you have a greater FPS in your computer, for example, my computer is capped at 60 hertz, so I can't get more than that, but if you have more FPS, make sure to use a Roblox Unblocker, because, you know, um, that can actually enhance your FPS performance, and you might get rid of this mouse like problem. And another thing I did mention in the comments, but not in any of the videos, is that in the first, you know, the very first video, I did mention that your FPS drops in, the Microsoft Store Edition. Now, this isn't actually true. What I did realize is that if you use an FPS unblocker and increase your, you know, this graphics bars by a bit, then you can actually um, get some better FPS. And, um, you know, there are some Roblox games which don't actually get more FPS because they use the majority of it in loading worlds and stuff. So, for example, in this game, you know, I'm getting 43 FPS right now, but sometimes it, like, drops to 12 or 13, so there's nothing you can actually do about it. So that was another thing I had to mention right over here. And the second thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that um, I have been emailing Roblox for a while, because after I actually asked them for support for the first place, I realized that they actually do reply to all your emails in less than 48 hours. So if you guys can actually, you know, if you guys are seeing this video and if you guys email roblox and i'm going to be emailing roblox and if they think that all of this is actually a real problem they can actually work on a game update so that this doesn't happen now that was another thing now i will be showing you the final email that roblox sent to me and after that i just stopped emailing them because you know i was pretty sure that that wouldn't work either so i'm going to be showing you the email right now the total amount of emails that we sent to each other was like you know 17 but i won't uh, you guys won't be you know eager to see all the rest but this is the last message that they sent to me and i didn't actually reply with anything because i haven't actually tried it but you guys can try this if you guys want because you know they actually just literally tell you to create an entire new windows account on your computer and then let them know if the issue persists so after that they give you a link for another microsoft to how to create a local user or administrator account in Windows 10. So over here you can find some pretty good information and I haven't actually tried this but you guys can try this if you guys want and they even gave us 
uh, video so you guys can try this if you guys want but since they actually did send me this email I just wanted to show it to you guys now another factor that I have found is that this actually does not happen all the time okay so for example I have not fully like so for example i have not fully you know fixed this problem but it has definitely um you know it used to happen the entire time like almost every day when this actually first happened to me but right now you can see that this doesn't happen to me like all the time so if i zoom right now you can see that i have you know i don't i'm not facing the mouse leg in first place or even if i frantically move my mouse and stuff but sometimes not sometimes like even today at the morning I was playing Roblox Arsenal in you know, the IP server and I had a pretty good FPS but still I was facing the Roblox mouse lag and I don't really know why so this actually happens in random I did and I did even email to Roblox about this that this is actually a random cause and this doesn't always happen but it still happens but they didn't actually they overlooked that problem I don't know why but yeah that's another thing I want to mention so if you guys do if you guys still are getting like this problem 24 7 then do make sure to comment down below if you have if you guys yourselves have found any fix to this because i haven't roblox has you know roblox has all these obby games right and the thing i found out is that uh, even if you do have the problem in all the other games you don't get the problem in these obby games okay so this i'm playing this game called tower of fun right now and you can see that i am in full fast you know i'm in full first person mode and it doesn't happen to me and even if I use shift lock, you can see that I'm in completely smooth mode, which doesn't have any if you have the mouse lag problems. So, of course, mouse lag is extremely annoying in obby games, so I think, I don't know, maybe they have optimized obby games to not face the mouse lags. But whatever, since the dawn of this problem has arrest, for example, since the time I started to face this problem, um, I have never faced any problems or I have never faced any of this mouse like problems not in full screen mode not in new window mode or even in full screen or window mode I've never faced these problems because I don't know why but I think the uh, obby games are actually optimized for this and yes that's another thing I actually wanted to mention another thing I do want to mention that I forgot to mention in the first two videos was that Roblox sometimes suggests that a simple restart can fix everything okay so make sure to actually check that for the first time because as I told for me this is actually like completely random okay so okay why am I filming this step ah. okay there we go okay so uh, you guys should actually try that by restarting, giving your computer a fresh restart, and also remember that shutting down your PC and then starting it again isn't the same as restart, which means what your computer does by shutting down and starting again isn't the same if you just restart your computer and let your computer boot itself up by itself. So that's another thing that they actually mentioned and I wanted to talk to you guys. And the last point that I want to make over here is that reduce your polling rate your mouse polling rate so that this can get rid of so i actually you know searched through reddit and many people did respond to this by just downloading your mouse's software and just reducing the polling rate and guys that was all i had to talk to you guys about today and this video was off scripted so if you do think i wasted your time i'm really sorry and as always, make sure to like the video if you did like this video and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it actually means a lot. I'll see you next time. I have some pretty good videos planned up. Also, if you do like Rose Citizens, make sure to check out my Rose Citizens videos because that's the main game I'm actually playing right now. So yes, with all those things being said, I'll see you next time. Till then, goodbye.